These days, everyone is looking for ways to add value to their calves. One way producers can accomplish this is through a well-structured preconditioning program. Reporter Brian Baxter heads to Kentucky to learn how one group of Kentucky cattlemen rely on each other, a sound preconditioning program, and some unique marketing to turn a higher profit. A well-structured preconditioning program is crucial in order to keep calves healthy and profitable throughout the production chain. We have seen tremendous results on the, on the back end, going through the stockers and going through the feed yards on how, how those cattle feed, how those cattle grade. Everything about the whole program has improved because of preparing them up front. Many cow-calf operators across the country have adopted a preconditioning program offered by Beringer Ingelheim Vetmedica Incorporated called Range Ready. We like not having any health problems. <laughs> really, that's, what we, that's our goal. And, and since we've been on this program, we've, we've had very, very minimal health problems. We've worked closely with Banger Ingelheim the last, I guess, five or six years on our animal health program. And uh, we've relied on them to, to uh, keep us up to date on, on uh, which products are, are working the best. What we recommend as a veterinary group is we try to make sure that we cover all of our vaccine bases, uh, making sure that they, uh, they're vaccinated for all the, the virals that they're probably going to face, uh, all the bacterial pathogens that they're, they're going to face early in life. Uh, if we can get vaccines to try to shut down some of that disease early, then we can do very, very well. Robert Conley, an order buyer near Georgetown, Kentucky, says with the tough market cattlemen are facing, having preconditioned cattle is more important than ever. We're seeing more and more demand for preconditioned cattle than we had in the past because of the horrendous markets we've gone through and the equity that's been lost in the last two years. Thereby anymore, you either have to buy them extremely cheap or you have to go with a value added program. And Robert takes many precautions to ensure the cattle he buys are in good condition. What we stress with all of our customers that we buy and sell to is the health of the cattle. Make sure that all the cattle have what the producer says they have. We're not just taking the word, we do a verification process to make sure on that. We look at the genetics of the cattle, we look at the flesh condition of the cattle, we look at the gainability of the cattle. So we look at everything that we can look at and check and recheck to make sure everything is done the way it's supposed to be. Although the herd may never get sick while on a cow-calf operation, the consequences of not having a preconditioning program in place can result in sickness and massive profit loss down the production chain. A lot of guys didn't see sickness on the cow-calf operation because they weren't exposed to a lot of different disease on that home farm. But once they start to migrate into some of the stocker operations and feed yard operations, then it becomes a struggle because they haven't been pre-vaccinated and they're exposed to those pathogens. And we see a lot, of, a lot of sickness because of it, a lot of morbidity, a lot of mortality. And in the long run, that costs a lot of people money. If you take the healthiest calves on the farm that have not had their vaccinations and you co-mingle them, you get a kindergartner effect. It's like taking five healthy kids and put them together, they're all gonna get sick. It's a problem that we have to do. So the more that we can similar vaccines, the more that we can consistently put the cattle together, the better results we have on the other end. One group of cattlemen has taken that advice and formed an organization called the Barren Beef Group. They have found a unique way to combat the problem of sick calves before ever leaving their home operations. Our primary purpose is for marketing. What we like to do is to co-mingle our cattle, group them into lots that are tractor-trailer size loads. We have uh, very similar programs for all of our cattle operation, but very, very specific goals for our calves that we produce. We wean them and weigh them, and uh, we keep them on our own farms for two to three weeks to let them get adjusted before we move them into these co-mingled groups. All of our calves are kept in those groups for a minimum 45 days because we want the health to be what it should be for the people that are gonna buy our cattle. And it seems like it takes about that long to make sure that the cattle have passed through whatever stresses and have gotten over their problems. Our weaning dates, the vaccinating dates are all within a week of each other. So we try real hard to, to group our calves that they're very similar with, uh, with all their characteristics. Each member of the Barron Beef Group works hard to execute an animal health program for their calves that's consistent throughout the group. In the fall, before we take the cows, calves off the cows, we uh, get the calves up 
uh, and we uh, give them the first round of the vaccines and then put them back with the cows for approximately two weeks, get them back up at the weaning time, and we'll booster that, those vaccines. Everyone in the group also has the same preconditioning program in place and says it makes their calves easier to market. We have truckload lots that are similar, the same sex, they're the same size, weight, and they have a health program, and they've been together for, for quite some time. So those characteristics, I think, is what makes our cattle stand out just a little bit more than the sale barn cattle that have been preconditioned for health. We think we get a premium on the market, whatever the market is, even though it might be the lowest time of the year, we'll, we'll many times get six, eight cents over what a sale barn price might be. And order buyers are taking note of their hard work. That is one group of producers together that has found their niche to increase their average profitability on calves somewhere in the $20 to $40 range. They have good genetics in their cattle. They give the shots right. They take care of them right. They co-mingle the cattle ahead of time and wean the cattle together. They have no health problem. The Barron Beef Group also attributes their success to the helpful representatives from Barringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated. When you get with one company, use their product, and rely on their representatives for backup and service, I think uh, in time, over a period of years, you, you develop a relationship with that company that, uh, that pays off for both the company and for the producer. I think if at right now, if I had a problem with a group of calves, if I picked up the phone, uh, called the rep, I believe by tomorrow morning they'd be a representative from that company sitting in my driveway saying, let's see your calves and I want to help you. You know, everyone tries to publish the cookbook regulations that we need to do for vaccination programs, and a lot of times that doesn't fit every, every station. So what we try to do is make sure that we mold that program to their particular situation. But simply having a preconditioning program in place isn't enough. Dr. Wade says there's one very important factor to keep in mind. Timing is crucial. You know, timing is the biggest thing. You don't want to try to vaccinate your way out of, you know, a situation. If we can get in there and get that vaccine in prior to any exposure, then we're way, way ahead of the game. If implemented and executed properly, a well-structured program can mean lots of added value at the end. You'll get your money back plus some. You'll get a return on your investment. But the best return on the investment when you do it right is the person on the other end likes your product and wants it again. In the long term, it's really going to bring back money to them because it cuts down on the sickness, plus it, it increases the uh, reputation of those calves that are coming from these areas into some of the feed yards. Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated is constantly looking for ways to help producers understand the full benefits a preconditioning program can have. What we're hoping to do is also do the same preconditioning programs, range ready type program for feeder calves and that's in the works right now. And that's something that, that we think is gonna be a huge improvement as far as getting producers starting on the preconditioning programs, educating them on the pluses and the minuses to these preconditioning programs and what it's gonna do for them in the long run. Reporting from Kentucky, I'm Brad Bulla for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. If you're interested in learning more about the products offered by Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated, or you'd like to get started with your own preconditioning program, just log on to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.